All righty, here in the country I was born in, we do have 220, 240. It both refers to the same thing. And uh, we're running a four conductor, a 10 3 with a ground for an electric dryer. And I'll show you how to install it here in the country I was born in. Black is live, red is live, white is neutral, blue is live, bare or green is the ground. However, you may find white live in a switch loop and in a 220 or 240 volt circuit where there is no neutral required. So I will show you how to wire this uh, 240 volt outlet here in the country I was born in. in the center of the stud so that the uh, sheetrock screws and the nails don't hit them. Okay, so we set our wires into our uh, device here. We'll make sure they're flat so they're not crisscrossed over each other. Here we go. We'll slide our wires up into our device here. here. Make sure it's going in centered and straight there. I'll pull our ground wire down a little bit here. And I'll slide this up and I'll cut my jacket off so it's all nice and clean. So we'll take our side cutters here. I'll just clip around the bottom here so it's all nice and clean. Get all our debris out. Okay, so we have a nice clean cut here at the bottom of our clamp. So I'll set this back down in here, bring our jacket in about a quarter of an inch. Okay, so I'll bring our wires up so we're not going to hook up right away. Then we will start with our ground wire. <coughs> Make sure all our debris is cleaned off 100% there. I'll open this up here so we can get it under. Okay, so I'll bring it down. Okay, I got my drill. Okay, I'm hooking up the dryer out and my camera's recording. Okay. Go 
push it down. Bring this over. Looks like the sun's coming out. It's getting kind of nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I push this little slotted thing over so that it stays on in through the other side here all the way. Make sure it's tight. Okay, now we'll put our white on the silver colored terminal here. So I'll bring this out like this. Bring our white wire down. Cut it so it's not going to be too long. Just make sure our copper comes up through the uh, terminal here. Bring this up. I'll strip with our number 10 hole here. Make sure it's not too long or too short. So I gotta just take a tiny little smidgen off. Now I'll push it down into our slot there. Make sure our insulation's not under the pressure plate. And I'll tighten the screw up. Okay, so tighten this up. Okay, now we can put our. Now it does not matter which side you put the red and the black on because they're both live. So I'll just loosen the screw up. Okay, so I'll bring the black over this way. Bend it down this way. Bring it up here. Okay, so I'm going to make it so to the hole there. So I'm going to cut it where it's not going to be too long. Right here. I'll take my, hold my finger here to mark where I got strip with our number 10 hole. Strip it off like that. Get it down into our slot here. And then I'll get it underneath. Okay, and I'll tighten this up. I'll hold this in. Okay, so we got our live conductor hooked up. I'll push it down so it's out of the way of everything here. Okay, so now we'll get our red wire hooked up. Open this up. Bring this over. Make it get positioned so it's not going to get in the way of anything. So I'll cut it right here. Flip it. Okay, and I'll stick with our number 10. You always use the hole that matches the wire size so you don't damage the wire by hitting with a smaller hole because I'll make a weak spot. Okay, right there's a good spot right there. So I'll push it down just a bit here. There it is. We don't want insulation under the uh, pressure plate there. Okay, we can get, still get to the holes there and screw it down. Okay. So here it is all wired and ready to go. So I'll take a picture of that up close so you can see it. So there's our connections right there. Okay, now we'll screw this to the piece of wood they uh, mounted in here. So I'll set it right here. Get this hole here so I don't hit the wire. Go at an angle. And now got it straight there and I'll get another one over here. I'll go at an angle here so I don't hit the wire. There. See if we get another screw in here somewhere. I'll just put one in the back here for. I'll just tighten this one by hand so I don't. All right. There it's tight. Okay, so we'll get a staple down in here. Right 
here. So we'll get a staple down here. We'll make sure it's back. Uh, Mention a quarter so that the uh, cheap rock screws don't hit it. So there's how we mounted it so that it sticks out flush with the wall. So now we'll just stick our cover on. It just slips in the slot here on the bottom. And it just slides back like this. There we go. Stick it in here like that and we'll just screw it down nice and snug. So that is how to wire a 30 amp 240 220 volt receptacle. And that would be for an electric dryer or an electric welder. So we have a, a red, black, a white, and a bare ground wire. The bare ground wire is just to ground in case a wire comes loose inside the unit, creating will create a short rather than give you a shock if you touch the cabinet and touch something grounded. The uh, white is the neutral. Because on an electric dryer, the uh, motor runs on 120 volts so that will be run on between the red and the white or the black and the white and the red and the black gives you the 220 or 240 and that is for the heating element so that is how you would wire a four conductor 30 amp 240 volt receptacle and this is suitable for like a uh, electric dryer or a 30 amp electric welder peace thanks for watching